Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, this is Judy, and welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and I'm so excited to be back today with some news regarding my favorite YouTube turned reality TV divas, the 1000 Pound Sisters, Amy and Tammy Slayton. You know, I'm still waiting for them to get their Emmy for reality television programming because y'all know that this is one of my favorite shows. If you're new to my channel, you might not know because it hasn't aired in a while. It's been at least a year since it last aired, but I am a big fan of the 1000 Pound Sisters and it's mostly because before they were ever on the show, I also followed them over here on YouTube when they were YouTubers. And I personally have a lot of love for both Amy and Tammy. And I have a whole playlist, <laughs> a whole playlist of videos about them. Most of which involve me recapping the various episodes that have existed. I'm pretty sure I've recapped every single episode to date. But with that being said, uh, I haven't really covered a whole lot with them since since everything happened or this last season ended I guess I should say because if there was news it was like very small news and I was like I don't know that this is enough to make a whole video about so we got some news about a new season and with that other very exciting news and so I figure what I can do today is give you all the bits and tidbits of information that have happened up to this point and then we can be ready <laughs> for when the new season comes in January. But before we get to all of that, I wanna thank today's sponsor, which is Atlas VPN. Atlas VPN helps keep you safe while you are browsing the internet. And this is the best VPN deal on the market. With their Black Friday deal, you get to enjoy the most affordable online protection for just $1.70 per month. And in addition to that, you get an additional six months extra and a 30 day money back guarantee. Atlas VPN can allow you to browse all your favorite shows and movies on streaming devices like I'll show you in just a bit. I use it to help watch the American versions of RuPaul's Drag Race while I am using the WoW Presents Plus app. But it also does things like keeping your Google searches private, helping you save money on shopping online, and Atlas VPN can help stop ads and malware attacks on your computer. Plus, Atlas VPN lets you have protection on multiple devices, so you don't have to worry about not having protection across all of your various devices that you might be using to browse the internet. So like I said, I love RuPaul's Drag Race, <laughs> and if you don't know, RuPaul's Drag Race can be hard to find at various places online. I was just talking to my friend about how she can't watch a specific season because it's not on any of the streaming services that she has. And if you don't know, you can use WoW Presents Plus to see all the foreign franchises of the show. However, if you use Atlas VPN, you can change your location to be in a location where you can see the American versions. And it's super simple. All you have to do is come over here, pick another country that isn't the United States. So I'll just go with the United Kingdom. It'll give me a little connection. And as you can see previously, the things that it showed me were all the international seasons of Drag Race, but now I just click refresh and the first thing it suggests to me is RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars Season 7 so I can go catch up with all the girlies and see who is winning. So make sure to steal Atlas VPN's Black Friday deal where you can get a subscription for $1.70 per month plus an additional six months extra with a 30 day money back guarantee. It's their best offer of the year so make sure to snatch it up while you still can by clicking on the link in my description description box below. Thanks so much Atlas VPN for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into the 1000 pound sisters tea. So a lot of you probably know that what this has been really spurred on by <laughs> is that there was a people.com article and also now a TikTok that has confirmed that Tammy Slayton has married a man and we're going to unpack all of that. I'm going to read through the article with you for the first time. A lot of people sent it to me, but if you've been watching my channel this week, you know that there were some pressing matters 
and other areas of, <laughs> of the internet that I had to deal with. So I haven't even had a chance to read the article or watch the TikTok yet, and I figured, why not do that together? But before we get to that, there's so much that's happened. If you remember, season three ended on a little bit of a cliffhanger of Tammy deciding she wanted to go back to the rehab facility to try to make things better. I think she had had a little bit of like a rock bottom come to Jesus moment where she's like, I gotta fix this. I gotta do something about this. And in the meantime, between time on the way from leaving her home in Kentucky to go to the rehab facility that I think was in Ohio, if I'm being honest with you, don't quote me on that. Chris and his wife were driving her all the way to the rehab facility and she was having troubles breathing. She got admitted to a hospital. It ended up that she had um, carbon dioxide poisoning, which is different than carbon monoxide poisoning. A lot of people at the time were confusing the two, and carbon monoxide poisoning is when, you know, like, you, you inhale carbon monoxide, and carbon dioxide poisoning is uh, caused, at least in Tammy's case, I'm not a medical expert, but from how I understand the situation with Tammy, was caused by her lungs not being able to get the carbon dioxide out of her body. So if you, when you breathe in oxygen, your lungs send out carbon dioxide and her lungs weren't doing that part. And so she was in the ICU for a while and came out of a medically induced coma. She had a trach. I think she still has a trach if I recall correctly based on like the photos I've seen recently. She did end up recovering from that and going into a rehab facility. And that's basically where the season left off and they even, I think, think pretty much alluded to she, she had come out of the medically induced coma and that's where we were at. So there has been stuff that's happened online on social media outside of that, but nothing too crazy, too intense. In general, I don't think Amy or Tammy really post on social media a whole lot anymore. Amy has posted some YouTube videos here and there of like, unboxings of like treats and things like that that people have sent her or like companies have sent her. Sometimes she does like product reviews of things that I get sent to her, but nothing too much about what's happening in her personal life. You might also recall that there was an article that came out that Amy was considering wanting to take some time away from the show or film less for the show. And that also probably has increased a little bit because since the show stopped airing, she also welcomed, and this was something that I don't think was confirmed in the, the last season because she was trying to get pregnant with Michael in the last season. And since the last season stopped airing, she not only was like pregnant, but she's had a second child who I believe I did a community tab post for, um, like welcoming and congratulating Amy on. Uh, but she did have a baby that she posted on social media. I believe his name is Glenn. And uh, obviously congratulations are in order for Amy and Michael and their now expanded family. But yeah, that's pretty much all the news on Amy's end. On Tammy's end, she does still post some TikToks. In fact, there was even a TikTok she posted that pretty much confirmed that they were filming, uh, which I was surprised to see myself. A lot, oh, sorry. A lot of people has been asking that question. Will it be in season four? When season four come out? I don't know when it's coming out. We literally just started filming it the beginning of June. So that means next year it'll come out. I'm not honestly supposed to say that we're working on it, but I don't understand why we can't say it. It's not giving out any secrets other than, yeah, we're working on it. <laughs> and that's not a shade towards y'all, it's a shade towards DLC. Like, they're the ones saying, don't say nothing. Don't give me, you know, don't give me um, spoilers or don't talk about your weight. I'm just saying we're doing another season. And I love you too. Thank you for your comment. Have a great day. 
Like, Tammy somehow gets away with posting all kinds of information that I would assume TLC wouldn't be happy that she would be posting. But she did confirm at one point that filming was underway, that she was actively making the show. In addition to that, there was a moment where I got really concerned because uh, the BBW King was with Tammy again, which if you recall, he was like the, the boyfriend. I think on the show they called him by his actual name, which was Philip. but prior to the, him being on the show and since being on the show, I'm much more familiar with his online persona as the BBW King. And anyways, he was apparently there at some point. I tried just tonight before I started filming to go see if I could see the TikToks he posted on his own TikTok. And I can't find them anymore. I think he's deleted them or something like that because they're not there. But I do have a screenshot, I think, of at least one time when they went live together. It happened. I'm sure he's going to be a part of the next season in some kind of way. Uh, he definitely seemed like, in my opinion, not only uh, a little bit of a fetishizer in terms of like how he views plus size women or um, BBW women or SSBBW, I, all the acronyms, you know, it definitely seemed like more of a fetish for him. But also just outside of that, he seemed like a clout chaser. I, I documented many times where like right before the season started airing, he tried to like come out here and be like, oh yeah, I love Tammy, blah, 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 blah. Even though like we all know how things ended. And so I just always felt like he was there for the wrong reasons. I think a lot of you watching at home felt like he was there for the wrong reasons. I think collectively, we all we all kind of felt that. And the only other thing I really saw from Tammy is that one, I feel like you, when she did post videos on TikTok, you could tell that she was losing weight or it looked like she'd been losing weight. Oh, and then one last thing before we get into the new information about the marriage, the wedding, the whoever, whatever, I did want to say, uh, I don't feel like I was ever able to give it really the time or moment, but also another thing that has happened since the last season stopped airing is that Lil Bit, Amy and Michael's dog, did pass away. And I think most of you know how much I love Lil Bit on the show. I usually dedicated a part of every recap episode to the little bit shot of the week and I know that that had a major impact on Amy's family and so I know it happened a long time ago but obviously my thoughts are still with their family. I can imagine losing one of my dogs and a little bit was such a staple um, in Amy's life even before they had their show on TLC. So, with all of that being said, let's get to the People.com article regarding Miss Tammy Slayton. Here's the article, it's called 1,000 Pound Sisters, Tammy Slayton Weds Caleb Willingham at Ohio Rehab Center. I'm married. And I'll leave a link to this in the description box down below so that you can go and check it out as needed. There is, in fact, a video that I believe will encapsulate all of the things that are in the article. So we're going to watch that together, see how it goes, <laughs> and see what happens. So let's get to, let's get to, shall we? 1,000 Pound Sisters star Tammy Slayton is now a married woman. Okay, People work. People exclusively reveal that the 36-year-old reality star tied the knot with Caleb Willingham on okay. Saturday at Windsor Lane, a rehabilitation center in Gibsonburg, Ohio. Stunning. While announcing the happy news, she told people, quote, you all know me as Tammy Slayton, but now you'll know me as Mrs. Willingham. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I, what, what a serve that they're getting married at the rehab center. Stunning. Love to see it. And I do have to say, I just, I just feel like you can tell that there is improvement in Tammy in some kind of ways. And if nothing else, like, I also just really feel like she looks really happy here, which I feel like it's probably going to be a lot for a lot of people. If you don't know, I'm a Tammy Slayton apologist, <laughs> or at least that's what a lot of people say about me, uh, because I try to understand at least a little bit, like, where she's coming from. I don't excuse a lot of her behavior, and in fact, in the third season, it was... It was tough being a Tammy Slayton apologist because she was really, really, I think, just 
unreasonably rude and mean to her family members and things like that. So, you know, I, I think she's got a lot to work on. But I'm hoping that this was like a wake up call for her. And not only that, but that she'll work well together with her now husband in terms of bettering her life for each other and things like that. I mean, we don't know a lot about this man. I assume we'll also get to know more about him in the new season. But I feel like also time will tell, you know? I'm married now. A TLC source says the couple met at the rehab center and eventually fell in love there. Okay. They in a small celebration in front of 30 friends and family. Oh, so 30 feels like a lot. Oh, and also, sorry, I paused right here and Amy looks so good. Her hair is so cute. Both show Tammy in a white gown and tiara as she poses with her sister I, and co-star Amy, love it. who wore an orange dress and vivid purple hair. I, I love Amy's hair. Amy, if you're watching, bestie, I love it. It looks so good. I mean, this is coming from me with my pink hair, um, but it looks cute. I love it. Another image features Tammy smiling next to her groom, who wore a black outfit with brown suspenders for their big day. Okay. In late October, Caleb proposed to his now wife in a video shared with the son. Yeah, 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 yeah. reported that the pair shared a lot of the same struggles. Yeah, that was the thing. A lot of people were tagging me and, and just like a grainy picture <laughs> of the proposal. And I'm like... I don't know what to do with this. Like, I don't, a lot of people are like, Zach, please talk about this. I'm like, all, all I have is a grainy photo. And I, I feel like maybe I was just like looking at the wrong stuff, but there, there were people like a, a month ago that had said like, hey, Zach, like Tammy's engaged, but happy for her. And were a huge support for each other in rehab. Okay, and good. And Caleb intends to move to Kentucky to spend more time with his wife. Okay. Tammy and Caleb's wedding journey will be documented in a new oh, season of the stunning. TLC series, which premieres in January. Stunning. Oh my god, even just seeing those old clips of Tammy, you can tell that there is a difference in the way she looks. Like, she she looks significantly different. All right, uh, let me go through this real quick and just see if there's anything else that they didn't cover in that. Slayton had previously had her relationship history documented on the show, such as last year when she split from former partner Philip, who her sister Amy said wanted her to be a glutton. As opposed to Caleb and Tammy meeting in person, she had met her ex on social media and admitted Philip was known online for talking about his preference for bigger women and that he didn't date anyone under 300 pounds. Ultimately, Tammy was tired of fighting with him and they broke up, she said in a December episode of the series. See, I'm curious though, because I feel like he is going to show up on the, the next season again. After her split from Philip, Tammy revealed that the doors always open to talking to potential partners. I don't talk to as many people as I used to. I'm trying to be more careful, she said. But every day I get a comment like, hey, baby, you cute. I want to take you out. Less than a year later, Tammy met Caleb at the rehab center and the rest is history. Okay, that was interesting. I'm curious about that. Um, I'm curious about the, the timeline for the meeting and stuff, too. I don't know. For me, I'm like such a, uh, well, I, I don't really want to get married, period. But I just am so slow moving <laughs> in relationships that for me, it's like, how long have y'all known each other to be like, yes, we got to be married forever, for eternity. Um, especially, you know, I'm curious how much Caleb knew also about Tammy prior to meeting her at the rehab facility. Like, I wonder if he knew about her show, if he knew about her social media presence before the show. I'm curious about a lot of those things because like, does he know what he's signing up for? You know, does he know about Tammy's bad attitude and bad behavior when she's not getting what she wants? Because also if they met in the rehab facility, we know that even from just season three of the show, she kind of like acted differently at the rehab facility than she did like when she was at home where she was amongst like all the temptations and things like that. So I think that's going to also be an important part of the relationship because if they've only known each other in this like controlled environment, I'd be curious to see kind of like what would potentially happen, you know? So I'm also going to pull up this TikTok just to see if it gives <laughs> any other context about the, the relationship so that we can also see that. So give me just a second and I'll pull her up so we can watch it. Okay, y'all. 
There is no more sleep, sisters. I would love okay. to present to y'all the willing hands. Y'all Oh, not not having Amy cover up him. I didn't even know he was behind her. It's Tammy Slate. Oh, and, and I thought this was on Tammy's TikTok, but this is on TLC's official TikTok. Y'all know me? It's Mrs. Tammy Williams. Okay. Uh, oh, I've, I've missed I've missed hearing her voice and this editing with this music in the background. Okay. Well, damn. <laughs> well, damn. Okay, I see. Well, that didn't really give me that much more insight. A lot of people are like, Zach, please react to this. That's why I wanted to include it. It was cute. It was cute to see them trying to do a little TikTok magic and have, have old Caleb hiding behind <laughs> me. That was wild. I didn't even see him back there. You know, I really hope the best for Tammy. I really do. I mean, I've all, I hope the best for most people. Let's be honest. I want people to be happy and in healthy relationships and get all they want out of life. I hope that what we can see in season three is growth on her end. Like, by growth, I mean, like, emotional growth, growth in her relationships with people, how she treats people. Things like that. I think Tammy really needs some wins. I think, you know, especially by the season three finale, it just felt like, you know, loss after loss after loss for her. It felt like she was really in a dark place to the extent that, like, season three just did not have the same charm that season one and two did because it was so dark, especially when it was centered on Tammy and the things happening in Tammy's life. You know what I'm saying? Does that does that make sense? I, I feel like I remember a lot of people having that same feeling as me. And I would love to see some more, like, lighthearted episodes where we can laugh and see them doing silly things. Of course, the weight loss and things like that are going to be a part of it and I think are a serious component of the show. But so much of the charm of the first two seasons was watching Tammy and Amy interact and do stupid things together. You know what I'm saying? But it's really hard to say because we don't we don't know what has happened or how things got here. And I imagine that TLC still probably wants a little bit of that drama. So uh, I'm going to be tuned in. <laughs> be watching and waiting to see what happens with our girls, Amy and Tammy, um, and the other people, you know, I, we have a, none of that included anything about Chris, Misty, Amanda, other random assorted Slayton, Mama Slayton, it, it, we didn't hear anything about them, so I'm curious if they'll be around, I mean, they said there were like 30 people at this wedding, but all we saw was Amy, Tammy, and her now husband, so... We'll see. I'm also surprised, though, that, <laughs> that TLC gave us this little bit of info. I guess they probably didn't trust Tammy to keep it to herself, so they said, let's just do this to help promote the new season. So there's that. And also on a mildly unrelated note, but still related because it's TLC shows, the 1,000 Pound Best Friends, which I also covered on my channel, also got renewed for a new season. So there's only been one season of it so far, but they did get a season two. And 1,000 Pound Best Friends is actually going to premiere before 1,000 Pound Sisters. It, it premieres on January 4th, 2023. And in case you missed it earlier in this video, the new season of 1,000 Pound Sisters will premiere January 17th. So I'm probably going to have my hands full covering both of those and all the other content here on my YouTube channel. So if you're a fan of any of the 1,000 Pound Cinematic Universe, make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already and click the bell button so you get a notification so you'll find out as soon as I post my first recap video for the new season. Also, make sure to leave me a comment on this video. Hit like, click share, and follow me on all of my social media. And thanks once again to Atlas VPN for sponsoring today's video. You can get their Black Friday deal, which will give you three years for $1.70 per month and six months free with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So go check it out now. I had so much fun today. I hope you did too. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!